Hi, Brad Officer here, Realtor in Jacksonville, Florida. Thank you for watching this video. Today I want to talk to you about open houses. I'm getting questions from uh, would-be home sellers to, uh, you know, are open houses, do they really work? And, uh, or is it just something that I'm going to have a bunch of random people walking in my house? Or is it something just to market you and get more business for you, the realtor, the listing agent of my house? So I'll answer those questions. Uh, but before I do that, I want to call your attention to the top of the site here. There's a place, there's a link you can click on. Uh, to search all the homes for sale in the multiple listing service and another link if you're thinking about selling your home it'll give you uh, the value of what your home could sell for uh, in today's market so to our question do open houses actually work or is it something just to have a bunch of random people in my home or just something for you to get more me the realtor to get more business more home buyers and sellers so the answer is yes and yes you're going to have a bunch of random people in your home and yes, I'll probably pick up more business by doing open houses because, of course, we meet people who are looking for homes and we meet people who are looking to possibly sell homes. So the answer is yes and yes. It's mutual beneficial, but it's more beneficial for you. And here's the reason why. Most open houses that I see are done uh, very small. There's just a couple of signs out. There's a flat balloon laid over on the side in the grass that nobody can see anymore. Um, and you go by the open house and there's no one there or there's one car there. It's just kind of pitiful. Um, and the open houses we do are much larger. We do a lot of marketing, a lot of social marketing, uh, a lot of signage out. And we have um, a lot of times 20, 30, 40 sets of people through the home uh, that we have all sign in to the, when they visit the open house uh, to see the home for sale. So we get more people there in a concentrated period of time. And that results in several things, which number one, my biggest favorite thing about an open house is that we get an immediate litmus test uh, for what your home, what the take of the market is on your home. If people think it's overpriced, if they think it's underpriced, if they think the uh, it's too uh, too dirty, if they think it's outdated, if they don't like the flooring, or they think the carpet's too dirty, or the landscaping's a wreck, whatever it is, we're going to hear it all at the open house. But we also have, we're going to hear all the positives of the house. They're going to talk constantly about how good this is, look at all these people here. Which brings me to number two reason why I like open houses, and it's social proof. So if, a, if I'm a home buyer and I'm in a home and I, all these other people are in the home at the same time, now there's social proof that this house, other people are interested in the same house and it's not like all the other open houses they went to where they're the only people there and it was super quiet and they didn't want to talk any because it was uncomfortable. In our open houses, there's a lot of people there and you have this proof that, oh my gosh, there's a lot of people that could be interested in this house. Which brings me to point number three, which is, this, if done correctly, if marketed correctly, we've launched the listing the, the right way, this is a lot of times your highest chance of getting the highest price for your home uh, because we have all these people here and if they're gonna, if there are interested parties, they're gonna make an offer that's gonna be real uh, as opposed to trying to lowball it a little bit or a lowball it a lot. Um, and we're seeing this this year. So with this year and last year as well, we've sold a lot of houses off the open house, not all of them. But a lot of them, the same day of the open house with multiple offers, trailing days after the open house with multiple offers, or sometimes we'll be working with a buyer through a week or two or three down the road, we end up with that buyer making the offer on the house. And a lot of times it brings the highest value because they realize all that interest in the house by seeing everybody in the home. So it's one of the highest chances of getting the highest value if you've done it correctly. Now, if you listed before with somebody else, and then you call me later to list your home. Obviously, we've the diminishing factor happens. You know, your house has um, gotten stale on the market, so we have to do some different things in order to um, kind of relaunch the house back out uh, for a new listing out into the market, which we're selling those as well, and a lot of times selling it in the first weekend, and the sellers who had previously listed with, with a different agent are kind of scratching their head as to why did you sell it and the other agent couldn't sell it. And it's just some marketing that we're doing to bring uh, more exposure to the home all in. So if you're thinking about selling your home, reach out to me, Brad at bradofficer.com. I'd be more than happy to talk to you. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks and have a great day.